to a new video on a new topic that is customizing customizing the taskbar and the second topic is icon and uh, third is customizing the desktop okay but first of all those who are uh, again at, uh, again and again i am just simply saying that uh, if you are a new viewer of my channel then first of all you have to subscribe my channel press the bell icon and select all bundles so that you can get the video on my video very easily so let's get started with this topic in very detail but uh, again i am saying that if you like the video then press the like button to be there and after that share this video with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get a wonderful information about this wonderful topics okay so after this you have to just simply uh, <coughs> the first heading is customizing the task bar how to do this simply customize your task bar by uh, following such, uh, such a simple steps so you can customize your task bar to best suit your need let us see what way and how we can customize the task bar so there are some following steps by which we are, by following uh, following this uh, uh, steps you can just simply uh, customize customize what means by customize means customize means just simply uh, take a new look of your task bar according to your need suppose i am using the task bar in the bottom of the bottom of the desktop it will in the bottom suppose i want it the task bar in the top of the desktop it will go top if i want it in the left it will go in the left i want it in the right it will go in the right so according to my need i will customize my task bar okay as per my desire so first of all click on the task bar and select the property option it means you have to find the long horizontal bar in the bottom of the desktop screen in the monitor screen you have to just simply click on the empty area of the task bar and after that you will find that uh, there is a menu over there and you have to just simply click on the property option okay after clicking on the property option there will be a pop up window just simply uh, come in front of you and there you just simply find, click on the task bar and start new property dialog box okay the task bar and start new property dialog box appears in front of you you will notice that by default the task bar tab is open okay means uh, when the window will open in front of you it will uh, uh, by default okay means uh, it will already uh, the task bar tab is already open so uh, you are not supposed to do anything else you will simply Uh, in the task bar appearance section click on the lock the task check box okay means uh, help us are just simply click on just tick uh, take a mark over there in the box uh, lock the task bar and after clicking on the this, uh, this will lock the task bar which the result that you will not be able to move it to any places we suppose you wanted the task bar to remain in the bottom of the desktop screen you can just simply lock the task bar okay suppose if you wanted to move that uh, task bar from the bottom to the top you can just simply uh, drag the task bar from bottom to the top and after that you just simply again click on the property option and you can just simply choose the lock the task bar option so that you can just simply uh, lock it and afterwards whenever you open on the desktop your task bar is just simply remain on the top of the desktop screen okay so now click on the auto hide the task bar check box this option will make the task bar to receive and hide automatically when it is not in use suppose uh, if you wanted a full screen full screen overview then you just simply click on the auto hide task bar option so that uh, the uh, task bar will just simply slide down or in the the task bar in the top then it will slide uh, to upward if the in the left side then it will slide to the left side so that you can just simply go from the screen and after that you can just simply enjoy the full screen view in the desktop screen okay so so now click on the use small icons check box this option reduces the size of the task bar uh, icons to fit more program icon on the task bar suppose you want to add many uh, applications over there but there is no more space so you can just simply reduce the size of the uh, uh, icons of the software uh, with the help of use small icon 
by which you can just simply get to enter many applications there. You can just simply add many applications on the taskbar very easily. Okay. After that, specify the location of the taskbar by choosing any desired option from the drop-down menu of taskbar location on the screen. Left. Okay, means you can just simply locate your taskbar wherever you want. Means there are four directions like bottom, top, left, and right. Okay, after choosing the option, the bottom is by default when you purchase the laptop. The, the uh, taskbar is simply uh, in the bottom of the uh, screen. So you just simply uh, if you wanted to move the taskbar from the bottom to the top or left or to the right side, you can just simply choose these options like top, right and left from the uh, menu. Okay, and after that, specify how icons should be displayed on the taskbar by choosing uh, any desired option from the drop-down menu of taskbar button you can choose. Okay, suppose if you wanted uh, another uh, change in your taskbar, because there are many options by which you can simply change your taskbar from here to there. If you want to change from bottom to the uh, bottom to the top, or maybe in the left, or maybe in the right, you can simply do this operation very easily. Because there is an empty area in the taskbar, you can just simply click over there, and after that there is a sub menu or we call it the menu over there. You can just uh, select the property option there, and after that a pop-up window is simply uh, displayed in front of you. After that you have to select. Uh, whatever operation you wanted to do with your taskbar. Suppose if you wanted to hide the taskbar, you have to simply uh, take a tip over there in the box so that the taskbar will be hide and if you wanted to uh, just simply uh, uh, size, reduce the size of the icon over the taskbar, you can just also do such type of operations. Okay. After that, always combine or hide maybe. It will fill up the icon from the same program and only show the icon without their name. Okay, suppose you want more space in the taskbar and you want you don't want the icons or the graphics of that particular application or the software, you can just simply hide the icons also. Okay, by choosing this option that is always combine or hide uh, label. Okay, after that, combine when taskbar is full. Okay, means Suppose you wanted to merge two or more application over in the task file, you can also do this type of work because uh, in our mobile phone also, if suppose, uh, suppose uh, there are too many applications uh, in our computer screen, we are simply get to know that we have to press, uh, press on the icon of that uh, software uh, a long time and after that you simply drag and uh, in a folder. After that, we will find that uh, many of the space in the screen of our phone is too empty. And after that, we can just do many type of operation over there. We can add or uh, we can add or might be there are many other applications over there. So now never combine. If you want that your uh, applications are not to be com combined together, then you can just simply choose never combine option. Okay, it prevent it prevent any filling and will show each window label next to the icon. Okay, means it will just simply give a very uh, professional look to you because show each window label next to the icon. Is, this is suppose the icon is there and the name of the software is just below uh, of that particular icon. Okay, suppose you just uh, simply go uh, go the cursor over there and after that you will find the uh, proper name of that application also. Now icons. Okay, we are going to discuss about icons. It is our second topic. What type of icons are there? So we can also customize the icons. So icons are the small pictures that are present uh, that represent file folder and programs. Okay, means all the graphics, uh, all the small images of that particular software is called icons. Okay, by which we can just simply get a shortcut menu of that application very easily. So the icon played a very important role in a graphical user interface. Means in a GUI operating system, uh, all the windows which are coming today are just a GUI based operating systems. They are just simply come with an icon based uh, 
operating system. So when we uh, uh, install an application in our computer system, it will just be so via uh, small graphic or an image of this particular software. After that, let us learn about some commonly used uh, icons. That is first, that is computer. Okay, so give give you a view of available drive and their content stored on the computer system. Double click on any drive icon will display the file or folder content contained in that drive. Means in that type of particular uh, icon, you can just simply watch that how much space uh, remain in the, my computer and after that how much file or folders is simply stored in this type of drive because in hard drive there are four types of drive. Okay, C drive, D drive, D drive and F drive. Okay, so there are four types of drive by which you can simply by clicking double on over it, you can just simply find the file or folder whatever you want you are simply uh, stored in your past. Okay. After that, application app icon. So these are the graphical icons that they give after access to related application. Means you can just simply get to know or recognize any uh, software very easily by uh, just simply watching the icons or the image of that particular uh, application. Now, shortcut icons. What is shortcut icon? A shortcut is an icon containing a direct route to the specific application document or a folder. It has a small jump arrow or a lower left corner. Okay. So, there are some simple uh, basic images over there. You can simply click uh, on that. These are called shortcuts. Okay. So, in the shortcut, you can simply find that uh, the application which are useful for you but not just simply displayed in that home desktop screen or home desktop window uh, when you just open the desktop. They will not find there. You have to just simply find them from the uh, start menu. So, if you wanted to get a shortcut over there in the desktop menu, you can just also do by uh, using shortcut icons. Now, document icons. So, the active document window of an application can be minimized to a document icon which can be placed on the taskbar. You can restore the document window by clicking the document icon. Okay, suppose you want uh, if uh, some some of the documents in our computer system are very important for us, so we can just simply uh, locate that type of uh, document in our desktop screen very easily. Okay, so we have to just simply uh, click over there. After that, we will just simply find that uh, our shortcut of our document will just be displayed in our computer desktop screen. And after that, network, and what is network icon? So, allow you to access the shared file or device or different computer in a network environment. Means, whatever file or folder you can simply share with them, uh, another uh, computer uh, over the network, you have to find all the files in the network uh, icon. Okay, so in that icon, you just uh, click over there, and after that, you will find that whatever type of content you have to share with another. Uh, computer or uh, how much uh, computer you have to share that type of content at the same time. And after recyclable, the recyclable icon is simply uh, is a folder that holds the deleted file or folder. The deleted, deleted file or folder can be restored to their original location from the recycling bin. Okay, suppose if uh, some of the file or folder are not important to uh, you, then you can just simply delete it. And after deleting the file or folder, they will simply uh, uh, vanish from the original position and just simply move to the recycling bin. After in the recycling bin, if you don't uh, use there, then you can just simply delete them permanently also. Okay, so by which you can just we are just simply getting more around that uh, the recycling bin is a type of uh, uh, dustbin type. Okay, the thing which are not useful uh, for us, we can just simply throw it in the dustbin and afterwards. If we think that uh, there is an importance of the, uh, the, the, that particular thing, you can just simply restore from there to the original post, original place where they are. And afterwards, if there is no use, we just simply throw out from the okay, dustbin to the garbage section. Okay. Now, customizing the desktop. The third topic is that customizing the desktop. Windows 7 is a quite flexible way to provide many options to change the setting of the document. Desktop according to your choice. Let us try one of the options. Okay. Suppose 
you are not supposed to like the computer screen color then you can just simply change it by uh, uh, performing some such type of uh, uh, I think steps okay but students I think uh, it's enough for today in this video and I think this video is to be very long so I have just stopped the video here but first of all again I am saying the same day that if you are doing your attention and not open up the subscribe button press the bell icon select all from the list so that you can get the notification of all the videos first of all and if you like my video style you can just press simply press the like button over there and share this video with your friend and colleagues so that they can also get the uh, get a wonderful information about this topic. Thank you.